Okay, a uh, 0.75 kilogram mass is attached to one end of the horizontal spring while the other end is fixed. The period of the spring is 0.2 second. If the total energy is 0.89 joule and potential energy at position X is 0.48 joule, calculate the maximum velocity and acceleration. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so first of all, we should draw a diagram. Yeah, draw a diagram first. Yeah, uh, to understand our questions you know diagram can always help us to solve physics question you understand uh, so we have a mass yeah? this is the mass attached to the uh, spring okay we have the mass okay uh, this is the mass horizontal it is a horizontal spring okay we have the period of the period of the spring the total energy, uh, this is the total energy, E total, okay? And potential energy at position X, what is this? Potential energy at position X, uh, 0 0.48. I think we no need this, this, uh, this is just to disrupt us, a disruptive, disruptive data. Let's see how, yeah? We want to find the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration. So we want to find V max and also A max. Uh, we need to find V max and A max. Okay. Um, so give us the pot potential energy at UX for a second. Okay, now let us draw out the diagram. Okay, let us draw out the diagram. It's a horizontal spring, right? Okay, draw it out. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, so it is a horizontal spring. We have a mass here. Uh, the mass is a uh, zero point seven five kilogram. It is oscillating <coughs> or oh, <coughs> horizontal spring. Yeah. Um. Okay, oscillation, um, it oscillate, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, we have the period, okay, is it at position X? This position X, okay, here, if you look at here, this is a uh, equilibrium, X equal to zero, uh, and then uh, we know it, we have amplitude, right? Uh, we have amplitude uh, so here is uh, amplitude and here is a negative amplitude right position x is maybe somewhere around here uh, somewhere around here so he say that when the when the object is at this position okay uh, i think it's not useful information this information can be ignored yeah he said pot, uh, potential energy at this point is 0 0.48 joule uh, 0 0.48 joule so uh, if you, the potential energy formula potential energy formula is uh, half uh, potential energy of the you know of the spring yeah potential energy of the spring is half kx square huh? uh, or we can say half m omega square x square uh, according to this inform question yeah half kx square the spring half kx square or half m omega square x square uh, so so uh, uh, this position is 0 0.48 joule yeah so this is a formula to do it but i don't think this will help us to find the maximum velocity or maximum acceleration okay so actually i think we can ignore this this information yeah about this ux can ignore okay because we already have the total energy uh, that's more important okay so okay let us go back go to the you know we have the mass already we have the period okay the period of oscillation is just write that down over there period is 0 point uh, 0 0.2 second okay and then the total energy important thing we have the total energy uh, the total energy is what is 0 0.89 joule so what's the formula for total energy Total energy is half m omega square a square. Uh, half m omega square a square. You see there we have 
omega there we have amplitude there uh, that's what importance okay uh, so uh, this is uh, total energy is half m omega square amplitude square uh, sometimes you write it as half uh, k a square uh, half k a square because we know that k is m omega square uh, we know about that yeah all this formula we already know about that uh, k is m omega square you know that uh, so if we have the spring constant if the question give us the spring constant k give us a spring constant k we can also use this formula k to find the amplitude uh, so but this question doesn't give us a k but never mind it give us a mass you see that give us a mass uh, period period can help us to find omega right uh, so okay let's find the omega first so what's the omega uh, find out the omega omega is uh, 2 pi over period isn't it uh, 2 pi over period we already have our period right we already have our period 0 0.2 so we can easily find our omega uh, so 0 0.2 so which is equal to let's calculate 2 pi and divide by 0 0.2 we got 10 pi now, omega is 10 pi uh, radian radian per second uh, okay so uh, 0 0.89 joule that's our total energy our mass is 0 0.75 uh, 0 0.75 and then uh, omega omega what is the omega omega is uh, 10 pi uh, 10 omega is 10 pi right omega is 10 pi yep where we can find our amplitude right why do we need our amplitude uh, because uh, our maximum velocity look at our maximum velocity maximum velocity is a omega a omega maximum acceleration is a omega square uh, yeah very easy so that's why we need to find our amplitude first amplitude uh, so okay so we can find our amplitude so what's the answer uh, what is the answer for our amplitude okay calculate uh, let's calculate okay uh, okay we got our amplitude is 0 0.049 uh, that's it 0 0.049 meter uh, okay and then uh, okay we, we can proceed to find our maximum velocity um, our V max is a omega. Our a acceler maximum acceleration is a omega square. Uh, so our a is uh, 0 0.049. Omega is what? Omega is 10 pi. Uh, so what's the answer? Uh, multiply n pi. And the answer is, uh, you know, 1.539 1.539 meter per second is is it all si unit is it all si unit yeah all si unit joule second kilogram all in si unit so no problem huh? all is si unit is maximum velocity how about maximum acceleration uh okay omega is 10 pi okay uh, multiply n pi square uh, it is uh, 48.36 uh, meter per second square uh, so that's it yeah uh, uh, so the answer is is it we have the answer yes the answer is uh, donkey uh, correct that's the answer uh, we got the answer already donkey uh, 1.54 and then 4.36 is 4.40 that's correct so actually we no need this information about this potential energy at uh, this position x it's just a disruptive um, you know disruptive data uh, just to confuse us 
we only need this uh, this information the total energy because the total energy can help us to find the amplitude that's what we need this total energy can help us to find the amplitude and uh, that's what we need we need the amplitude for to find uh, a omega and a omega square uh, okay so we need the amplitude you see that that amplitude can be found from total energy uh, the omega omega we get from where omega we get from the period uh, period can help us to find omega okay so that's all for these questions i hope you understand okay bye bye